Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we took a look at the hinge joint. We kind of uh, went a little deeper into the 2D physics engine and took a look at the hinge joint. And I asked you guys to go through and make yourself something cool with it. Uh, I myself left in the rope bridge and I built myself a a little trap door that the character is going to die on. And I've got that today. Uh, I've got that for a reason today. In today's episode, what I'd like to do is take a look at what happens when the character falls off the screen and dies. Right now, we don't do anything at all. All right, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so to start off with, I think this is going to be a relatively short episode. Actually, it's only really the one thing I want to do and, and clean up everything. Let's take a look at the actual problem. Uh, let's get this thing playing. Boom. And let's get my character running. Avoid the trap. All right, okay, we're running along here. We're running along here. We come to the edge and like, oh, whoa, we fell all the way down. And look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Where is it? Where is he? Where is he? He's moving so fast. He's falling forever. He's falling forever. That's not how you make a game. Guys, that is a really bad, bad, bad idea. Um, we want to make sure that we clean up anything that falls off the edge. And, and a lot of things fall off the edge in this game. Uh, the spores from, from the, the cannon can fall off the edge. These boars can fall off the edge. A lot of different things can, cause, uh, can fall off the edge. So we want to make sure that whatever we do, whatever falls off the edge, we catch it and we clean it up. Okay? We're going to do this really easy. Uh, let's add in a, let's create a new empty game child and let's call it a uh, game cleaner. All right, game cleaner, perfect. Uh, let's just reset it to now to zero. It doesn't really matter where it is to be honest, but reset. Okay, so it's at zero, zero, zero. Uh, and what I really want to do is, is I want to set this up so that that it can catch whatever falls into it. We already know, you guys have done this a billion times, add component, physics 2D, and we're going to add a box collider. Uh, and I'm going to make this box collider big. Let's make it, let's say make it uh, 100. All right, great. That is big. That is big. Basically, I've added a box collider that stretches across my entire, my entire map, my current map. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you could have done this. We could add a cleaner to each of our each of our objects that could possibly fall off the screen, and when it does, it automatically destroys itself. Uh, we could we could set up one of these, you know, build a small one and link them all together. That's probably a good way of doing it, linking them all together so that you've uh, you've got uh, however many cleaners you need to cover your entire play area. Um, for now, I'm just going to make one, and I'm going to lower it. I'm going to put it down here, just below where the character is going to fall through. All right, I'm going to make sure, first of all, it's a trigger. Uh, and you guys already know why it's a trigger. That means if any other collider touches it, uh, we've got three chances to react to this actual uh, touching, this actual collision, uh, either on enter, while it's staying inside, or when it's exiting. So with that said, we're going to add a component right now. Boom, add component. And we're going to add a new script. And we're going to call this one here cleaner. For my lack of imagination today, we're going to call it Cleaner. All right, and I'm going to double click and open Cleaner up. Perfect. All right, of course, we've got a graphical error today. Once again, boom, boom. Now there's our Cleaner. Uh, nothing's in it, but basically what we want to do is if anything touches that collider, we want to destroy it. That's basically what we want to do. Let me just check one thing. I think player health, we already have a make dead. Did I make a make dead? I did, perfect. Yeah, Make Dead's already here, and I think we got one for Enemy 2, right? Make Dead, perfect, perfect. All right, so all I'm going to do in the case of the player, I want, if we touch this collider, I want to call this Make Dead function the player. So first thing we got to do is find out if it's the player. First thing we got to do is write our, <laughs> our on trigger events. All right, you guys have done this a million times. Void on trigger enter 2D. Uh, Collider, Collider 2D, Collider 2D, other. All right, so far so good. Uh, and what we basically want to do is we want to check and see if what we're colliding with is a player. If it is, we're going to call the make dead. All right, insta death. That's what it's going to be. Um, so if other dot tag equals quotations player, then it's our player. Awesome. Let's take care of that. Basically what we want to do in order to call the make dead, make dead, I'm pretty sure that I make make dead, yeah I did, public function, great, super smart, um, we're going we're gonna to have to call that function. So to do so, you know we need to make a reference to our player health. 
and let's just call it uh, player fell. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, it's going to be equal to the other dot get component. So we're looking for our component. That component is, of course, our player health. Uh, boom, 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 and boom. Uh, and once we've got that, we can say player fell dot, and we can call the make dead function. All right, that is going to take care of cleaning up our player. We could do exactly the same thing for our enemies. Uh, we know that our enemies that have the enemy health function, anything tagged as an enemy, has got a make dead. So we could do it with that as well. But instead, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to instead say else. If it's anything else, um, then I want to destroy the other dot. Uh, game object. All right. So if anything else falls into our trap, into our into our catcher there, then I just want to destroy it. All right. And that's all the code I require. File, save. Now let's make sure. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to hit play. And if all goes well, if I've got everything set up properly, let's zoom in a bit here. If all goes well, when I jump off this edge, the the uh, Boom, I forgot to turn off my steam. Then uh, my player is going to automatically be killed. Boom, there's my blood splatter. Awesome. Let's try that again this time. And this time we will use the boar. So if we do the same thing with the boar, we manage to get our boar to chase us. The boar should also be destroyed. Boom. Come chase me, boar. Come get me. Boom, and the boar was destroyed. That means anything leaving the edge is going to be automatically destroyed. All right, that's perfect. That's all I want to happen in this episode. I don't want to have that craziness anymore. That's it. All right, guys. So add yourself a game cleaner. Like I said, you can do it one of two ways. Uh, you can, or one of three ways actually. You can make individual game cleaners for each object that you want to fall off. That seems like a little more complicated than you really need to do. Uh, or you can make a one long one if your scene is not too big. Make one long one, and if not, make a series of short ones, and just put it underneath the areas where things can fall through. All right, guys. So hopefully your games are coming along amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have done. Uh, you've got all the art that I've used. So even if you just want to take what I've done and you want to, to improve on it, make your own game, that would be cool. However, if you guys are making a new game, I really want to see it. So make sure... I want to see it either way, but if you've got yourself a new game, then I'm really happy because this is about teaching you and not about copying what I've done. All right? I'm really hoping you guys are doing that. Let me just make sure that my assets are all cleaned up. There's my fall through. Oh, I should have moved that before. I accidentally deleted this before. Put it in there. Make sure everything's cleaned up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. Let me know why. Just say in the comments, thumbs down. Uh, you suck. You know, don't say that, actually. Uh, thumbs down. Uh, I, I, you talk too fast. You know, give me some constructive criticism, guys, so I can improve. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.